After you decide you have an issue with a circuit board, it typically resulted from a bad chip. You must find it and remove it. You must also remove the solder wick residue from the pads as well. Solder becomes embrittled if you reheat it too many times, which can lead to a failed solder connection and a major breakdown in your system if you do not remove the solder. You've got three tool choices for desoldering. The first is a pulse solder remover. Most people call it a solder sucker or a pullet. Basically, it uses heat and a vacuum to pull solder off of the board. Watch, the solder is, well, almost removed. Heated with the tip, the plunger is pushed and the solder is still there. It's not good. Old solder reheated again and again makes for a bad connection, which can cause your board to fail again. The reason the pullet doesn't clean up the solder is because it's almost impossible to create a vacuum you need on a surface mounted board like this one. Second is desoldering. The desoldering gun is placed on the board until it heats up the solder to a liquid state. You can have major problems if you leave it on too long, like a burned out board or damage to the surrounding clips. If everything works correctly, it sucks up almost all of the solder. Remember, almost isn't good enough. Usually you've got to empty out the reservoir and unclog the tip pretty regularly, and that slows down the process. Thirdly, the easiest and best tool for all desoldering applications is Solderwick brand desoldering braid. It's the most effective way to remove solder. It works great on all boards, through hole, surface mount, or even a board full of old BGA components, which is probably what you'll be dealing with. You can use it in here in your research and development lab or out in the field service call. That's because all you need is a little bobbin of Solderwick brand soldering braid and your trusty soldering iron. Solderwick was originally developed in conjunction with NASA as a solder removal method. It is definitely state-of-the-art technology in the desoldering field. It's designed to meet or exceed all of these military, NASA, and industry specifications for surface insulation resistance, or SIR. Use a little solder wick, a little heat, and the solder vanishes. That was slow motion. Now in real time, solder wick soaks up the solder through capillary action. Solder wick makes quick work of removing solder residue. Solder wick is made of oxygen-free, pure copper. It comes in a variety of widths and flux types. Solder wick is available in five types of flux systems, depending on how you clean or don't clean your boards. Rosin flux braid is used when you clean your boards with a solvent like Fluxoff 2000. Don't ignore cleaning, especially if you plan to recoat the board. Conformal coatings may not stick well to rosin flux. Solder wick no clean flux means no post cleaning except when using a conformal coating afterwards. Its patented flux system gives you lightning speed and minimal residue. With unfluxed braid, you can coat with any type of flux, like water-soluble flux, and then you can clean off the flux with water. Solderwick lead is especially designed for removal of today's high-temperature lead-free solders. The single-layer weave used for Solderwick lead-free braid is lighter in mass than any other DE soldering braid available and allows for lead-free solder removal at lower temperatures. Solderwick silk is designed to provide the fastest and safest desoldering without leaving behind harmful flux residues. Solderwick silk uses pure oxygen-free copper braid and a patented flux technology to make an efficient and effective desoldering braid. Choose the Solderwick flux system that matches your board cleaning process whether it's solvent, no clean, or water soluble. Now, if you're working with a really expensive board or one that could easily be damaged by static discharge, select Soderwick packages in static dissipated bobbins. Look for the blue transparent Soderwick bobbins. As far as size is concerned, you must pick the correct width of Soderwick brand desoldering braid. Pick the Soderwick braid that matches the size of the land you're working with and match the soldering iron tip to the braid width. Here is how you desolder a surface mount board. Remove the bad component, place the solder wick over the solder, then the tip of the iron is placed on the solder wick. The molten solder is sucked up into the solder wick. Solder wick brand desoldering braid meets the mill spec for desoldering speed unlike other brands. It is the fastest braid ever, even when compared to the competition. Solder wick is hands down the fastest. Being fast is good because it saves you time, but it could also save your board from heat damage that is, with less heat transfer from the solder iron tip to the board. So fast is cooler. Leaving the solder iron tip on too long can cause major problems. Lifted lands or pads, those new components won't work right for long. Too much heat for too long, you damage the surrounding components too. Now onto the BGA board. Remove the chip with a reflow machine. Choose an iron blade tip as close to the BGA pad size as possible. 
Place some new solder wick braid on the pad. Apply the blade tip and watch the solder flow onto the solder wick braid brand. Repeat until the pad is completely clean. Finally, onto through hole application. Solder wick brand is once again the ideal choice for cleaning lugs, posts, terminals, and it desolders wire wrap pins for easy removal. For rework, maintenance, and repair, more professionals trust Soderwick brand desoldering brain than any other brand worldwide. And here's why. In side-by-side -side tests, Soderwick braid beats them all, hands down. No other braid cleans as quickly and thoroughly or consistently. Here are my tips for you. Match the Soderwick flux system to the board cleaning process. Solvent, no clean, or water. When working on static sensitive boards, select the transparent blue bobbin static dissipative Soderwick brand desoldering braid. Size is important. Select the size of the braid that matches the pad. Match a soldering iron tip to the braid. Too small, it takes longer to heat up the braid and may damage the board. Too big, and it heats up areas that don't need heating like the surrounding components. Always remove the tip and the solder wick braid at the same time. You'll never get stuck that way. Clip off the solder wick soak tip after each operation. That way, you get the fastest wicking action. When working on a clob or a blob, place the wick on the greatest solder buildup first. Always finish the job. To thoroughly clean any flux residue, Comtronics flex on will do the job. A clean board is an efficient board. When it comes to which wick is which, Solderwick brand desoldering braid is the one. For more information, visit www.chemtronics.com.